guys, welcome to Cheats Online. Today I'm going to take you through the blood supply of the liver. The portal vein is formed by the union of the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein. The right branch supplies the right lobe. The left branch supplies the left lobe and also the chordate and quadrate lobes. The portal vein receives blood from a number of structures. The stomach, the pancreas, the spleen, the small intestine, and the large intestine. Central veins. These central veins these central veins become hepatic veins. These join the inferior vena cava, which returns the blood to the heart. Here we have our splenic vein and our superior mesenteric vein. Coming up and forming the portal vein. Feeding that nutrient rich but oxygen poor blood into the portal vein, we also have the left and right gastric veins. As well as the inferior mesenteric vein. and other veins coming into these main veins which I'll go over quickly now. Looking at the inferior mesenteric vein we have the left colic vein, the sigmoid and rectosigmoid veins, the left and right superior rectal veins, the middle rectal veins, and the inferior rectal veins. do not supply the portal system. These drain into the systemic circulation. Joining the superior mesenteric vein, we have the right gastroepiploic vein, the posterior and anterior superior pancreaticoduodenal veins, as well as the inferior of these veins.
the middle colic vein. The right colic vein. The sequel veins. And also the appendicular vein. Joining the splenic vein, we have the short gastric vein. And also the left gastroepiploic vein. So as you can see here, we've got veins from the stomach, veins from the spleen, veins from the pancreas and small intestines, and veins from the large intestine. all supplying that nutrient-rich and oxygen-poor blood to the portal vein. So we've seen how the liver gets its nutrient-rich but oxygen-poor blood supply. Now we'll have a look at its oxygen-rich blood supply. We have the abdominal aorta. Coming off that is the celiac trunk. And we have this first branch here, the common hepatic artery. This branches into the gastroduodenal artery and the right gastric artery. Once this branching occurs, the artery is no longer referred to as the common hepatic artery, it is referred to as the hepatic artery proper. And this branches again into the cystic artery, which supplies the gallbladder, the right hepatic artery, the middle hepatic artery, and the left hepatic artery. And these arteries go to supply oxygen-rich blood to the lobes of the liver. And that about wraps it up for the blood supply of the liver. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about the human body. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.